So this comes from Crystal Miller. And this was in regards to that video that I posted about, you know, different ways to make $50 per hour for dashers. So this is what Crystal said. And I just want to give my, my two cents, my thoughts on what she was saying. Uh, she goes, I really don't get it. I deliver in Fort Lauderdale area in Florida. I constantly get $2, $3 or, and $3 orders to go three to 10 miles away. Now let me just pause for a second. <clears throat> Always, always, always try to follow the formula of a dollar per mile. Okay. Sometimes if you can do $2 per mile. All right. So if you're getting a $3 order and it has to go two miles, a $3 payout sucks. But if it's a quick drop off, bing, bam, boom, you can knock it out. If you know your market well, you could actually do well because you could drop that $3 order or bleh, order off real quick. If it's like a mile or two, you know, even three miles, that's a dollar per mile. Okay. If you are stuck in this situation, try and use the mileage to your advantage. Okay. Because I know there are some people that work in crappy markets that get really, really low payouts, but they make, you know, $20 per hour with the small payouts because they're using the mileage tactic. Okay. So just something, you know, to take a bad situation and try and make it something good. But of course, always reject the, the low paying uh, offers if you can, can manage to do so if it's busy enough. So don't think taking low ball offers is always a good thing because it's not. But if you're desperate, there you go. Um, so, uh, I constantly get two and three dollar orders to go three to 10 miles away. And on DoorDash, it will not let me dash unless it's busy and I have to beat others to peak pay scheduling. This has been an issue for quite a few people for quite a while now. I literally can't drive with DoorDash, so I mostly use Uber. Plus, Uber will let me deliver no matter what. I'm slowly backing away from DoorDash. So, look, the Crystal Miller is not the first and will probably not be the last dasher to say, you know what? I'm, I'm wiping my hands clean of DoorDash. They're not treating me right. I'm going to take myself elsewhere so that I can make more money and be more profitable in my market on other platforms. Totally understandable. But I'll, I've, I've said this over and over and over and over again, and I will keep saying it, guys. You have to diversify. Do not rely on one app. Some people can do it. Some people can. In my market, I hardly ever have to touch DoorDash or Uber Eats because Grubhub keeps you busy with good payouts in this particular market. It has a lot to do with the kinds of clientele. If you are in a lower income area, you can't necessarily expect huge tips. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. If you're in an area that is a little more upper scale where people have more money, more money to spend. Sometimes you'll get better payouts or in most cases you'll get better payouts. But some people say the rich, the super rich people don't want to tip too. I've experienced that myself. But again, you need to figure out what is most profitable. There have been drivers and dashers that I've met over the years that literally will drive 45 minutes to another place that they know is more profitable for them. Okay. Uber Eats and DoorDash allows you to do this. So take advantage of it anytime you can. Grubhub, you're, you're stuck to a region, you know, and to change regions, you have to contact them and it's a whole process. So that's your advantage on DoorDash and Uber Eats. And, and it, interestingly enough, she said she's leaning more towards Uber Eats. So I'm just curious, everybody in the chat or the comments, do you find that you are saying, you know, the hell with DoorDash, I'm going to try out Uber Eats. I'm going to try out Grubhub. Because like I said, you have to diversify. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. It's the biggest mistake you can make because what if you get deactivated from DoorDash and you're like, oh, what do I do now? Seriously, guys, get on Grubhub, get on Uber Eats. I have the link for Uber Eats to go sign up down below in all my descriptions. Use it. Go use the link. Sign up. And I'm telling you, you'll be much happier when you're sitting there waiting for orders or if DoorDash is ending your dash early because you're cherry picking too much. Multi-app, multi-app, multi-app. Cherry picking and multi-apping work hand in hand. Take advantage of it while you still can. That's my best advice right there with that. Uh, so it's, it's no, it's no surprise that people are, that dashers are leaving DoorDash, that they're quitting DoorDash. It, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. So 
Also, make sure you guys are all subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD. Uh, we're trying to get it to a thousand subscribers. We're like a hundred away. So link is in the description. Make sure to turn on that notification bell and uh, all that stuff. Definitely go over there, watch the videos. There's more content like pay to drive and I will be adding more stuff. So let me know in the, in the comments or the chat. If you're subscribed, leave a comment saying subbed. There are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you.